So the Taliban have now entered Kabul, albeit not in very large numbers. There is talk of a transitional government as well. What way, shape or form it takes, we do not know. There are 5,000 American soldiers on the ground. They are there to facilitate the evacuation of American residents from Kabul. However, uh, when that takes place, we do not know. Uh, it is expected to take place uh, completely in the next couple of hours. Uh, the United Kingdom is also sending in forces to try and get their people out of there. And India at this juncture, the External Affairs Ministry would be very closely watching the situation on the ground. No decision on when exactly we evacuate from that particular area. India has a lasting stake in Afghanistan, very, very closely involved in development in that country. Uh, so therefore, whether there's a decision to hang on in, in Kabul at this stage and uh, take the word of the Taliban that diplomatic uh, staff and em embassies and missions will not be at attacked or not is something that needs to be looked at very closely. Joining us now, Dr. Zakir Hussain, a former senior fellow at the Indian Council for World Affairs. Um, what, is, what is at stake for, for India, Dr. Hussain? Uh, does this basically mean that essentially we, we would have a third enemy in a sense? We face a, a threat from the North China, from the West, from Pakistan, and now a little further West from Afghanistan. Uh, what does this mean from a security standpoint for India? I, I don't think there is an immediate, immediate security challenges for us. But in medium to long term, we have to take care of this. And right now, we have to be very patient. And our first task will be is to secure the lives of our citizens. And for this, we should directly negotiate to the concerned authorities. Uh, because we never have been there as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a body to... Uh, hello? Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, we, we never have been there as a fighter. We, we contributed to the Afghan development uh, and their capacity building. They know it very well. Afghan also, Taliban also know it very well. So what I feel that uh, uh, in the coming uh, uh, months, Afghanistan, uh, Taliban may also like to engage us. So uh, we should not uh, be very impatient uh, by these developments and we should have our uh, patience, uh, hold our patience and let the the countries like Pakistan and others, uh, China, uh, deal with it, uh, but we, sh we must be strong on our security parameters because tomorrow what will happen to Pakistan and, uh, uh, and China is very well known because the spillover of uh, refugees and uh, how they will contain the different factions uh, Pakistan will uh, uh, be the first country to support. All right, sir. I just so, want to thank sir, for sharing that perspective with us. I want to go across to my colleague Kadamani who joins us. What is the ground situation that you're hearing in Kabul? Well, uh, the ground situation, Vishnu, is that uh, Taliban is has encircled the city. There are reports that a delegation has gone for a meeting with President Ghani and his associates. There is also uh, there are also reports that uh, he would uh, resign very soon, but uh, he has issued a statement saying he has been talking uh, to the security uh, 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 people responsible for the security. That means he is also trying to convey a situation where it looks like he is in control and there will be a peaceful uh, transition of power. Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, there there would be around 5,000 American soldiers uh, by tomorrow in uh, Kabul itself. So at the moment, it looks like uh, uh, Taliban would not try to force and enter Kabul because that will mean uh, losses for them. Till now, they have uh, uh, been able to take over several places, several uh, provincial capitals without any bloodshed because the, the Afghani forces have been surrendering to them. So uh, we are also learning that uh, the uh, different missions are uh, trying to evacuate their own personnel and by tomorrow or day after this will uh, be accomplished. We are also waiting for word from uh, Indian uh, government what exactly is taking place, whether they have decided when and uh, how to evacuate their own mm. uh, uh, mission personnel from there. There are also some uh, Indians there, the media is reporting from there, some uh, reporters are also there. So we are waiting on word uh, from MEA. The, uh, our sources are telling us that uh, India is closely monitoring situation and deciding on how to evacuate their own personnel from Kabul. Vishnu.